rights. The controversy, questions, and confusion about stem cell research will not end soon. Despite intense criticism, Catholic researchers continue to join others who are seeking to embrace and live out the gospel call to heal the sick while protecting life at every stage. The criticism leveled often at people who have ethical problems with embryonic stem cell research is that for some reason they don't care enough about suffering people, that they put uh, a moral objection above a suffering person. Benedict the 16th has explained this very well. He said that's, that criticism really isn't, isn't valid criticism. The Catholic Church, for one, has spent millions of dollars and, and countless effort in developing hospitals and treatments in the United States. They generally, over the years, have taken care of indigent patients. They have cared more about the sick and suffering than, than any other organization in the world. My feminist colleagues are united on the fact that we want women to be safe and well and healthy and protect. We don't want a biotechnology that abuses them. We don't want a biotechnology that profits off, off their bodies. And I just say, how dare us? Put their health on the line. Um, play with their own future fertility and be so casual about it. Patients are being told with various diseases and injuries to promote embryonic stem cells or cloning. But no one has revealed to these patients that there's a much safer, and I believe much more effective alternative, is to use their own stem cells. We go through remarkable and sophisticated mental somersaults in an attempt to tell ourselves that somehow this should be justifiable, that somehow this really should be okay, when in point of fact we know, just based on the basic biology, that there is a profound violation at the root of this proposal. Not only is embryo destructive research morally wrong, it has not cured anyone of anything. Adult stem cell research is already helping the sick today, while offering still greater hope for the future. The reality is, we can support the science of stem cells, finding cures and protecting life.